As you can see, the first thing you need to do is remove the cover. Next, you're going to use a pair of spreading pliers to remove the C-clips on the ends of the shaft. Next, you're going to remove the first washer on this end of the shaft. And you're going to push the shaft out, like so. It can be a little slippery on uh, the gear end of the shaft, so it might be uh, to your benefit to use a, a rag or a cloth just to get better grip. So you pull the shaft out, and then you're going to take this second washer that was holding the shaft in on this end. And then slide the rest of the shaft out. Now we're ready to install the new shaft. So first we're going to slide the shaft into the actuator, but not all the way, because we want to leave some room to install the first washer. Once the washer on the shaft, we're going to push in the shaft the rest of the way on the actuator. One thing to keep in mind though is this key needs to line up with this keyhole. So the key on the shaft needs to line up with the keyhole on the actuator, like so. And then just push it in the rest of the way. Finally, we're going to install the second washer back onto the shaft and we're going to install the C-clips as seen here. 